Hello, this is Simon Judd. This is an excerpt from one of our Insights packages. This one concerns the fundamental membrane filtration parameters. So here we have a membrane uh, with the surface shown in orange and that has area A and water flows through that membrane at a flow of Q. Now the most fundamental parameter in any membrane process is the flux, which is the ratio of the flow to the area. And that takes units normally of liters per meter squared per hour, or LMH, uh, gallons per foot squared per day, or GFD, that's the US units, or simply meters per day, because flux actually has the same units as velocity. It's just that if you were to use SI units of meters per second, you'd end up with very, very small numbers of 10 to the minus four or 10 to the minus five. And engineers just can't cope with exponents, so we just use convenient units to give whole numbers. So most membrane processes will operate at somewhere between, say, 10 and 150 LMH. Now when water flows through a membrane, it generates a pressure, which is referred to as the transmembrane pressure, which can take units of bar, PSI, or if you actually are going to resort to SI units, kilopascals. Now the ratio of the flux to the transmembrane pressure is referred to as the permeability, which is the flux per unit TMP. So that will then take units of LMH per bar, or in US units, GFD per PSI. Now, flux is actually generated normally in most conventional membrane processes by the flow of water parallel to the membrane surface. And that generates something called shear, and it's the shear which actually produces the flux. But you can also generate shear by using a flow of air if the membrane is oriented vertically. And that's exactly what happens for an immersed membrane bioreactor. Which means that for an immersed membrane bioreactor, there is a fourth parameter of interest, which is the ratio of the amount of air used to the amount of permeate flow generated. And that is then referred to as the specific aeration demand with respect to permeate flow, QA over Q. And that is actually a unitless quantity. So the chemical engineers just love that because they love non-dimensionalized groups. So there are, in effect, four parameters which define MBR operation.